Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 25th. So this is um, not sign specific. This may or may not be for you. We're just going to see what comes up, and the timing is fluid. There are no clocks in divine timing. Okay, so we're just going to see what comes up for the 25th. Or right around the 25th, right? So let's just see what we got here. Blossoming abundance. I mean, the card speaks for itself, right? Something is blossoming. You may not even know it. Abundance is coming. You may not see it coming, but it's coming. All right. You know, I see that owl again. So there's going to be a, there's going to be some sort of massive change. Okay. There's the owl. So there is going to be a massive change. You may see it coming. You may see it coming, but something is growing. And you know, somebody's about to receive. There's a big old pentacle up here. Somebody has manifested something. So, yeah. So some sort of abundance is coming. Your prayers have been heard with that three. So rest assured that your prayers have been heard. Abundance is coming. do we have it's clear it is it's crystal clear it's crystal clear something is something good is coming somebody's hard work is about to pay off tablecloth is driving me crazy. I'm going to take it off and put it back on when we get done with this and see what happens. My cat slept on the table last night and messed it up. Hmm. Yeah, well, I think something has been delayed, okay? Something has been delayed. Somebody hasn't been putting in a lot of effort. Somebody has a lack of ambition. There's a lack of drive. There's a lack of discipline. Imagine that. No discipline. Somebody hasn't been mastering their emotions. They've been letting fear get in the way. Pity, perhaps. No, no strength, no ambition, okay? That's what we got here. Somebody really has, like, given up. They've given up. Don't give up because what you have been waiting for, it's coming. Don't give up now. Come on now. Don't give your power away because it takes time for things to grow. The last thing you see is the reward. Insecurities. So we got some insecurities here. Somebody may feel like they're not getting what they deserve. But something is changing, okay? So something is about to change with this Eight of Wands. Page of Wands reversed. Strength! Oh, perfect! Can't get over it how that happens, okay? Yeah, somebody needs to find their strength and their discipline to keep going. Don't give up. Don't give up, okay? We got somebody here is thinking negatively, okay? We got somebody here that is, is has lost their focus. They've lost their concentration because it's like they're not getting their reward fast enough. Don't give up. It takes time for things to grow. You need to find your strength, your mental strength to persevere. Mm. 
willpower. Something is ready, just about ready to burst. Something is. But if you give up faith, if you don't have, this is replacing fear with faith, it's reversed. If you don't have faith, if you don't have faith in yourself, if you're going to let your negative thinking get in the way, well, your thoughts truly do become things and don't forget it either. Somebody needs to find that force within them to keep moving forward. Don't let yourself be a victim of these circumstances. Don't play that victim card. You're not a victim. Hold your head up high in the face of adversity, in the face of stagnation, in the face of fear. Hold your head up high. Prove yourself. Come on now. Prove yourself. Find that concentration that you have lost. Concentrate on the end game. Concentrate on the end goal. If you give up prematurely, then you lose. Yes, there's an opportunity to get exactly what you want. But you have to have faith and you have to believe and you have to really, I mean, this is wish it and it will come. Seriously, this is a wish coming true. Think about it and wish for it and believe it and you will get it. But if you don't believe it, that is not going to happen. Five of cups. Underneath the five of coins, expect the unexpected, by the way. Somebody is grieving. There could be some regrets. There could be some sadness. Somebody is disappointed about not. Somebody is holding on to something that no longer serves them. Okay? Five of Cups. Holding on to some disappointment. This is a grievance. Grieving over a loss when there's an opportunity here. There's an opportunity for love if they could look, if they could only see it. But they're only focusing on the loss. They're focusing on the discontent. They're focusing on the pain. They're focusing on the hurt. We got some, but it looks like the, 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 the tears are dissipating because there's no tears here. We have somebody here that is, you know, this person has already just about let go. Somebody may have been ghosted or they may have been left behind, you know, and they've still been hanging on to something. But I think whatever this, somebody is getting ready to take a risk and look in a different direction, move forward. This is, this is moving forward. Emperor, Emperor reversed. This is this is somebody again who's lo who is, has been clinging to control, anger, chaos, disorder, disorganized, loss of concentration, loss of focus. Somebody is walking away. Somebody is headed in a new direction. Somebody is leaving some emotional disappointment behind because they want wish fulfillment. I want to have it all. The Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups. Somebody is leaving something behind that no longer fulfills them because they see something brighter. Interesting. This is protection. This is heaven. This is heaven sent protection. This is shutting down. This is shutting down communication. This is putting the brakes on. Somebody is putting the brakes on a situation. Somebody is finding the strength and the courage. Maybe they're putting the, the, the brakes on a Debbie Downer. Somebody could have been dealing with somebody that's been holding them back from success, honestly. I mean, just saying. I mean, that could be the case. Hmm. 
this is this is shutting down this is shutting down an idea shutting down communication I'm going after wish fulfillment and this was the same thing I'm going after happiness I have faith I have hope that there is something brighter there is something better on the other side that there's something you know happier um, somebody is finding their strength to face fear Somebody is about to open up and put the brakes on a situation. Fear has been in the way. I think they've been dealing with a person who has been holding them back. A Debbie Downer. A negative individual. I can't make that up. This is also bad news. It's not good news. They may have been dealing with somebody who doesn't work. You know, they don't see eye to eye with. That is holding them back. It's causing them to want to give up. It's like somebody is wanting to give up. Maybe this person gives up easily and it's causing this person to give up. You know? We got somebody here who, you know... Is wanting this person is wanting to move in a new direction expect the unexpected for sure expect the unexpected we we have somebody that is about to take a risk this is very risky business she's gambling this is a gamble somebody is about to take a risk and focus on something else I'm about to let something go that has been causing them a lot of grief No more tears. No more tears. It's like they see the light. This is like a bright shine. This is shining. This is a... They see the light. It's like they see this. They get some sort of... Uh, it's almost like a calling. I don't know where that is coming from some sort of calling. It's time for me to let this go and focus on something else. <laughs> anyway, the Emperor reverse. This is this is this is um <sighs> unstable. Insecure. Out of control. Something could be out of control. And we got somebody here that is try is clinging to control. There could be some power struggles here. Power struggles in regards to, you know, who's the boss? Okay? And you know, it takes teamwork, I know. I know that it takes teamwork, but there's 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 definitely some sort of power struggles here. And I think we we have somebody here that is finding their courage to face this negative that looks like an individual to me. Somebody is finding the courage to face this individual or to face this new path. You know, I think there's some sort of fear here. There's fear of, you know, dealing with this person, whoever it is. This person is very negative. This is a very negative energy, and I can't pretend, and I don't care if you're a fire sign, you don't want to hear it, but this is negative. Okay, we got a negative individual here who, you know, may use pity, you know, and he needs constant uh, sympathy, okay? He needs constant attention as well. And it feels like we have somebody here that, you know, it, it is about to face their fears and master their emotions and put the brakes on a situation in which it's like their power has been taken away. There's been some dishonesty perhaps and there's been a lack of clarity and it's like they see this, they see some sort of light, they see some sort of option, you know, for wish fulfillment and the only way to get it is to stop focusing on this loss because it seems like it's a grievance, it's a loss, it's there's some sort of, uh, it could be a loss of a friendship, a loss of a partnership, a loss of, 
a relationship. Somebody is, is going to probably lose a friendship. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. This could be a friend. It could be, it could be a lover. And I think what, what's happened is, is there's been some sort of, I mean, this is, this is being left out in the cold. This is being ghosted. This is being left behind. I think somebody is choosing to leave somebody behind and take a risk and go in another direction. I think it's probably a, a instant d decision, very impulsive decision that, you know what, I'm just going to let you go. I don't need you in my life. I see an opportunity for blossoming abundance. So I, you know, I really feel like we have somebody here that is walking away from something that has been emotionally disappointing in their life. Could be dealing with the Pisces because this is the Pisces sign. So we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius pretty prominently here as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Leo, Aries. So, we're, you know, there's a good chance for dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, perhaps a Pisces or a Cancer or an Aquarius. But my what I see mostly is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So I think we have somebody here that is definitely moving very quickly. Very, very quickly. It's like there, there's no thinking about it. It's like an instant decision. Somebody is ready. They're ready to take back control. It's like their energy has been stolen for so long. Seriously. And this is very, I mean, it's almost like it is, there's some sort of sadness surrounding this. There is some sort of sadness. It's sad to let go. But it's, it's time for a renewal. It's time for peace of mind. I think that, I mean, this is a card of hope. We have somebody here that is about to take a risk. And they're going to hope for the best by letting go of a... It's almost like it's a chaotic situation. It's a negative situation. It's a energy. Oh, God, what's the word for it? It's an energy thief. You know what I mean? It's very negative. I'm sorry, but that is very negative. You know, there's, there's a lot of power struggles here. And there's a lot of need for constant attention, sympathy, pity, poor, poor me, uh, negative Nelly, and somebody that has nothing good to say. Uh, you know, I think that, that somebody is going to, you know, put the brakes on a situation because, uh, you know, I'm. This is. these are both cards of healing. These are both cards of peace. I need to find peace. I need to find peace of mind. I can't keep suffering in this situation anymore. I can't surrender all my power anymore. I'm ready to heal. I'm ready for peace of mind. So I think we have somebody here that is about to find their courage and their their strength, their inner strength to, you know, really go in a new direction. It's it's time. It's the time is now to go. Somebody may receive a message that, you know, is not probably not good news. It's not good news, you know, that or they have been receiving bad news, a negative Debbie Downer. So anyway, I just feel like we, we have somebody here that is, is choosing a new path. They're about to take a big risk. The time is now. They it's like they can't Things have been too out of control for a while now. And there's nothing they can do but to go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I think, I mean, this is a victim mentality and this is a victim mentality. Somebody has been dealing with somebody who uses that victim mentality as a tactic. Always the victim. Yeah. You're always the victim. You know, the other person is like, they, they play a victim. They play that victim. We got this other person is like, you know what? I don't need that shit in my life. See ya. That's what we got here. 
I think there's unwelcome news coming that somebody is leaving. Because they see an opportunity. That's the, the, the owl is a symbol of death and, you know, change. Major change. Somebody's inner guide, somebody's intuitive wisdom is telling them that it's time. It's time for you to go after your abundance. This is a renewal. So yeah, I mean, that's what I got. I'm going to go ahead and get one of these, but somebody is finding their strength to face this Debbie Downer. To look them, it's almost like, take your victim mentality someplace else. I'm not playing anymore. We got some definitely, definitely have some sadness. We have some grieving. There could be some regrets. Somebody's leaving somebody behind. And that's exactly what we got going on here. Protected by the angels. And goosebumps came with that one. You are cherished by the angels. And this is this is guidance right here. This is heavenly guidance. This is protection from above. So it does make sense. You are blessed. Immense blessings from above are showering over your life. The angelic realm is only a thought away. Angelic intervention is available to you at all times. Simply be open and you will feel their presence. This is the time to spread your wings and soar. You are so protected and so safe. Sometimes it might seem that you can't see the road ahead, but have faith that by your side are shimmering angels supporting and guiding you in unseen ways. Watch their signs, especially in the form of feathers. There is a sacred plan for your life. Your life is guided. Their angelic message is that you are going in the right direction and everything is unfolding exactly as it should be. When you receive this card, it can also mean that you are an angelic healing force for others because the light within you is so bright. I remember I said this was bright at the beginning. You know, anyway, it's like this is a bright light. You know, I, don't, I, I feel as though we have somebody here that is deciding to just go. There's been a level of indecision, though. Indecision, right? There's been a level of indecision, but it, I feel like the time is now. It's like... I'm ready to face my fears. That's what this is. So expect the unexpected, okay? Because I feel like we have somebody here that is... Leaving something behind. They've been guided to do so. And this falls right in line with yesterday's reading. Good luck. Virgo and Capricorn for July are up next. 